Whiskey, Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany, often tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. I'm not sure how rare and exotic this is. Second part of Davis County here from straight bourbon whiskey, Finnish and oak barrels, yay, and next time Cabernet Sauvignon. So what do we have here? We have a very interesting thing it says here. Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey finished in French oak casks. So 96 proof, which is 48%. Very, very nice. Um, the price of this bottle used to be in Germany 92 euros and 90 cents. Now there's a new distributor in Germany and now it's at 55. Did I get my price right or is it 56? So one second, um, it is now at, um, so it's now, oh, okay, it's now 59.90, so it's 36% cheaper. It's interesting um, how the different distributors have different pricing strategies, isn't it? I think so. All right, I'm gonna compare it to here this. This is the standard. Um, there is not a standard mash bill. We have a mash bill, which is rye, which is basically the mash bill of Elijah Craig. And we have the mash bill, which is wheated, which is basically the mash bill of larceny. So for those of you, those of you who did not watch the first um, video, this is literally a mix of larceny and Heaven Hill. Lexco have owned the brand Davis County now since 1993. Didn't do anything with it. Came out 19, um, 2021 with three bottles, French Oak, Cabernet Sauvignon, and the Standard Bourbon, which I think is fantastic. So we can see the, the cask influence here. And they don't make that themselves. This is very interesting. This bottle says here, um, distilled in Kentucky. This bottle says distilled and aged in Kentucky. So this isn't even aged maybe in Kentucky. Who knows? And it says here bottled for the Lex Row distilleries or distillers. Lex Row distilling or uh, distillery is the own company of Lexco. Well, I'm sorry about those. Um, and they actually bottled it for them. The home of Rebel used to be Rebel Yell, Ezra Brooks, Blood Oath. Um, they do this dis distribution for um, Yellowstone from Lime Branch Distilling right next door to um, in Loreto from um, Maker's Mark and so on. So they do have a lot of brands out there, but they're not yet really putting anything on the mark of their on the market of their own juice yet. So they have been doing contract distilling and it's basically an uh, open secret that they use um, Heaven Hill juice. And that's why I said it's <laughs> Elijah Craig and Larceny. Bam. What's the ratio? Is it 20 percent wheated and 80 percent rye? I don't know. The mash bill. All right. So so we have four corns. We have the corn. We have the four grains, the corn, the malted barley, the rye and the wheat in here. So it's supposed to have the sweetness and the um, spice over here. We have a six month finish, according to the website here from Lexco. Um, six months is okay. First, we take our Kentucky straight bourbon with this unique blend of wheated and rye mash bills. Then we finish it for six months in new French oak barrels for an aged bourbon full of oaky spice. All right, so on the nose, I like this nose. I don't know why. I have a nice spiciness. I don't particularly like the palate. It has a little bit of a young, spirity type of almost metallic taste to it, but I do like the nose. I don't know why that really just draws me in. Over here, the nose is much m more matured. I guess the extra six months really does make a difference here. And what I get is sawdust. Uh, I used to work as a cabinet maker in the States. Um, that was a long time ago, but I still have one in front of my age before I turned 20. I came to Germany when I was 18 and haven't looked back, but for about three years I worked as a cabinet maker or in a cabinet making shop. At the end I was a cabinet maker directing others, but for the first two years I learned how to do things. In the third year I was able to actually make the stuff myself. Um, that was very, very nice. And this has a lot of that fresh cut oak, white oak taste to it. Now, I don't know where they got the French oak barrels. I do not know if they're toasted or if they're charred. They just put up here new French oak barrels. But it does significantly, significantly change the flavor profile of the nose here. 
Nice. I like that. I like this better, but I like that. It's a little too woody for me in the palette. All right, on the, I'm sorry, on the nose, on the palette. Hmm. It gets very ah, young. It's a little, it, it is four years old. It is a Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, but it's young. It's a little um, bright. It's um, very, very alcoholic. There's a lot of alcohol in here. Um, it's also just, it's not a Kentucky warm hug. It's a Kentucky type of uh, burn down through the esophagus down almost to the stomach moment and create some, some type of acidy moment. It's not the best whiskey in the world. It's definitely not worth its 55 uh, euros over here. Is this worth its 59 euros over here? Um, in America, this bottle should cost somewhere along the lines about between $45 and $50. So it's not bad, that price. If, I'm, if you're paying $50, and don't forget, we had the tariffs. We had 25% tariffs on this when this came over starting January 1st, 2022. The tariffs are gone, but I bought these bottles in 21. So these also had 25% tariffs on them. So the $59.90 is actually an okay price, to be honest here. All right, so let's try this. Hmm. Hmm. I do like this much better. But that oak really shines through. It's very oaky. Um, it's almost too much oak. Now, I'm going to get rid of this bottle here. And I'm going to pull out one of my favorite double oak um, expressions out there. So this runs over here in Germany. I do have a one liter bottle, but it's down. The price is a 0 0.7 liter bottle. Um, Woodford Reserve double oak. Now, all the commercials kind of imply that they make their entire batch of whiskeys in the pot stills. So I was in Versailles, or however you say it, there in Kentucky, visited the Woodford Distillery, did the tour. It was extremely hot on that one day. I think it was July or August I was over there. It was between 90 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit, sweating. Um, and then, of course, you come to the pot stills and everything's hot. Everything's on. Very, 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 very warm. And then we went through very quickly. And the entire tasting experience did not mention one single time that they also add, of course, juice, and not just a little bit of juice, from the column stills from Brown Foreman. And so I did not know that. I, I kept on talking about the wonderful pot still um, made um, bourbon in America. And it was like, no, Jason, <laughs> part of it, yes, but not the entirety. It's like, oh. All right, so, but I still like Woodford Reserve. I really like the double oaked. This is my favorite expression of them all. Yeah, the distiller select, the normal um, is okay, but the double oaked, oh, that's so good. Now, over here in Germany, I must admit that we have 43.2%. I think in America, you might have a different ABV over there, but I have not met a single person. I have not talked with Chris Morris or his um, new protege. Um, her name is Elizabeth. Uh, about Y.2. All of the expressions in Germany are 45.2, 43.2, 43.2, 2. What's going on with the point two? I want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. At least I do. All right. All right. So this is on the nose better. It's, it just works. It, 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 in comparison, this turns into something a little bit sour and then woody over, over wood. And this is... Um, goodness this is dark caramel this is a maple almost maple syrup type of moment mm, this is so good cheers mm. 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 <laughs> happy face jason's happy all right woodford reserve double oak beautiful masterpiece thank you <clears throat> the Davis County French oak, good, better. Still not where it could be and where it should be, but better. All right, so taste C plus. I can almost give it a C plus here. Value for money D plus. 
it's still way overpriced for it's 60 euros all right um yes i know that we have a lot of craft stuff coming out there that's much more expensive than this but this is not craft this is basically made at heaven hill and it's just a label from mexico so it's not worth it i can get two bottles of something else that tastes better than one bottle of this and i'm just not willing to pay for the marketing and for the alleged story here I mean, it does say here, um, since 18, what was it, 1843, 1874, yeah, they bought the brand from the distillery that was closed, and ugh, they don't distill it themselves, and so on, and so on, and so on. I just don't, I don't see the, the need in buying that and tasting that. But I do like the fact that I can take a look at this. I say this is the standard product and what does the finishing do to it and french oak does do a nice little thing if you like a little bit of that fresh oak sawdust moment bam that's your thing to have so as i said um almost a c plus and value for money a d plus what is your favorite double oak product is it woodford reserve is it here i don't even have my bottle here anymore do i oh yes i do I don't have my bottle. Where's my bottle? Here's my bottle. Is it Sagamore double oaked rye? Oh, Christmas in a bottle. Is it something else double oak that you like even more? Hmm. What is your favorite? Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you very much for sharing. All the best. See you soon. Whiskey Jason here. Bye-bye.